The time has finally arrived. We have news about Help Wanted coming to Xbox, as well as some more news about FNAF coming to the Xbox Game Pass. A lot of people, and when I mean a lot, I mean a lot of people have been waiting for Help Wanted Xbox port news, so of course, I'm making a double upload today, let's go. If you missed it, I already uploaded today unboxing this sucker right here, Funko's brand new FNAF board game survived till 6am. I'm going to be playing it in a future video, and trust me, this game is very, very interesting, and you really don't want to miss that video, so I think you should subscribe. And besides that, I always, always cover just the tiniest amount of news on FNAF, so you guys are always up to date. So, I think that also deserves a sub. Anyways, let's start off with the Game Pass, because this is something that I really did not see coming. So earlier today, Microsoft released a blog post about upcoming games coming to the Xbox Game Pass. Which, if you don't know what the Xbox Game Pass is, basically it's like a subscription service where you sign up and you get games that you can play on Windows 10 and Xbox. And as of earlier today, FNAF is one of the games on the Game Pass, which is really weird to think about. Unfortunately, it is only the first four games, Sister Location, Pizza Sim, and Ultimate Custom Night are not on there just yet. Maybe they'll be added on in the future. If I'm being honest, it's a bit weird that FNAF is getting bundled up, <laughs> you know, in the Core Collection and now in the Game Pass with only the first, like, four or five games. I wish that these types of things would wait until we have all the games and then they could all go into the core collection, then they could all come out on the game pass. But for right now it's only the first four, which isn't that bad, I mean that's more than half the games. The core games, again FNAF 1 through 4, Sys Location, Pizza Sim, and Ultimate Custom Night, since those are the only ones getting ported. There's a little description here, I'll read it right now, it says FNAF, Android, Console, and PC. And it seems like they are arriving on October 29th, which is very exciting because that's only three days away boys, so we're getting them pretty soon. The Freddy Fazbear animatronics, beloved by thousands of children, have always been quirky, especially after hours. Many previous night guards have reported they act almost possessed, but that can't be, they are just machines, right? There was nothing for you to worry about. Play through the original four titles and discover for yourself. Just show up for your night shift and do the job well and everything will be alright, or will it? Interesting description, uh, <laughs> alright, um, so yeah. I personally don't have an Xbox Game Pass, but I know a lot of people probably do because Microsoft is freaking huge. And so if you're a FNAF fan, this is kind of a blessing come true. Um, though the games have been out for a bit, so if people truly are fans of FNAF and they have an Xbox or Windows 10 system, they probably already bought the games, but whatever. There are always a lot of new fans coming into the franchise, especially with the, you know, resurgence of FNAF this year, so... Hell, if you don't have them yet, you can get them for free in three days. Of course, if you have the Game Pass, which I have no clue how much it costs. I'm not sponsored by Microsoft, by the way, <laughs> even though this is like a fully Microsoft Xbox video. Anyways, let's move on to some help wanted news. I'm so excited about this, boys. So as far as I'm aware, nobody's found this, which is really weird because this is on the same page. It's officially posted by Xbox, though it doesn't show FNAF in like the image that shows up at the start of the article, so a lot of people probably missed this. A few days ago on the 23rd, they put out Next Week on Xbox, October 27th to the 30th. Welcome to Next Week on Xbox, where we cover all the new games coming soon to Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. Every week, the team at Xbox aims to deliver quality gaming content for you to enjoy on your favorite gaming console and PC. Get more details on these games below and click on their profiles for pre-order details Dates are subject to change. Jump in. Hey, I'm popping in while editing again. Uh, you can't click on the name for more info, by the way. I double-checked because I was editing and I read that line and I was like, Oh, I never even bothered to check uh, if you can click on the name for more info. You can, unfortunately, but maybe no more news will come in the future. I don't know. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. Though, if it releases in three days, I don't think we're gonna get too much more news about it. You know, because it is just a port, so what else can you really put out besides a price and release date? So anyways, that's it for me. Back to the video. So of course, I'm covering this because Help Wanted is on the list of games coming soon. That's their words. And based off the date, we can definitely expect it soon. That's right, the 29th, baby. Whoa, three days. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. 
Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, October 29th, a collection of classic and original minigames set in the FNAF universe. Survive terrifying encounters with your favorite killer animatronics in a collection of new and classic FNAF experiences. This is amazing. So Steel War were not lying when they put that Xbox One controller in the background of their latest teaser for the mobile um, port. This is so exciting. Finally, after so, so, so long, it's finally coming to Xbox. It's very exciting that this is all going down on the same day, the 29th. Uh, the four games, the first four games are on the Game Pass, and now Help Wanted is coming to Windows 10 and Xbox One, which is just... It's, it's just like, finally, like, we've been waiting on news for so long, and it's finally here, and it's arriving in three days. Like, that is amazing. I totally would do playthroughs on all of these, except I don't actually have an Xbox One. So, unless I play it on Windows 10, which would be no different from just playing it on Steam, I don't think I'm gonna do playthroughs on them. But I totally, 100%, will hopefully... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said 100% if I'm saying hopefully. Hopefully, we'll be playing Help Wanted on mobile when it comes out, hopefully soon, again. Now something that is interesting uh, to point out is the cover artwork for FNAF 1 through 4. Uh, I, mm, I'm not too big a fan of it, <laughs> just straight, saying it straight up. I, I don't really like it all that much. You can't really see any of the characters well at all. It's interesting because this could be a good reference material for the core collection cover which has FNAF 1 through sister location, so it will be um, altered a little bit. Uh, it also needs to have the core collection banner uh, on the cover as well, but I just, I wish they did better, you know? And I wish we got new renders. God, I, like, Scott, you have the models. I, I would like new renders, man. So yeah, that's really it. Just a quick update video on all of the FNAF game. well, most of the FNAF games coming to Xbox and Windows 10, which is so exciting because, again, We've been waiting so long for this chance, and now it's finally here! So, I hope you all enjoyed the news, I hope you all enjoyed the double upload. If you missed my unboxing of this baby right here, it's linked down below. Go check it out! So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.